hello welcome back and welcome if you are new here my name is Josie and I post videos about watercolor and sketching on a regular basis if you haven't heard this year I am attempting to sketch every single day of the year so I have been trying to get my sketching kit down to as small as possible so that I can take it out and about with me so I thought it would be a good time to do an updated sketching kit tour so let's get into it. All of the things I take sketching with me, I managed to fit in my Etcher field case. I have done a full review and walkthrough of how I kind of fit everything in this case. It's really, really small, but can fit a lot of stuff in it. So I can fit all of my watercolor stuff and pretty much just everything that I need to sketch with watercolor and pens and everything. And then to pair that, and it actually goes quite nicely. It's almost the same size is the Stillman and Burn Beta Sketchbook. This is in the hardcover and this is in B5. I will have a flip through of everything I've sketched in January coming very soon. So watch out for that and hit subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get into this case. I can just carry this as a bag. And I've actually figured out a way to clamp this sketchbook onto this so then I can kind of carry this whole thing just as its own little unit. This is genuinely how it's been. I haven't organized this for this video. I have my little uh, Faber-Castell water holder here. So this just unpops like this and you can just fill it up with water. And I always bring a water bottle with me as well. That's quite important to have water if you're doing watercolor. So I've got my Muji mechanical pencil. That is just what I use to do the basic outline of my sketch. Then I've also got this Pentel aqua brush, which is really nice for if I'm just wanting to do mainly pen work and then just want to add a little bit of watercolor. That is really, really handy for that. It doesn't always create the best watercolors and I do sometimes struggle with it. It's very handy if I just want to do a very quick sketch. So I have actually been using that a lot more since I'm sketching every day and I just need something quick and easy to use. This is my Escoda Ultimo Synthetico in size 14. I do use this quite a lot for doing big washes. The only thing with this is because it holds so much water when you're out and about sometimes it can almost just be too much water and it kind of gets everywhere so if I'm sketching outside I'll only use this on a very sunny day if I know that the watercolour will absorb quickly otherwise you just end up with too much of a wet mess everywhere. Someone did ask me if this fits in this case and technically it does if you put it sideways but because it's not a perfect fit I have noticed that it's started to go a bit of a funny shape at the top but that doesn't really bother me I'd rather just have it with me than not have it although you probably should look after your watercolor brushes a bit better I find that once they're wet they kind of go back to well this brush anyway goes back to its shape pretty well so it's not been too much of an issue. Then I also have some travel brushes. So this is the Rosemary & Co dagger brush, which has seen better days. Again, it doesn't quite fit there, but it is a travel brush. So I probably should just keep it closed. But uh, yeah, I just don't apparently. And same with this one. This is another Rosemary & Co dagger brush. It's just in a slightly smaller size. Another Rosemary & Co travel brush. This one is more of a round brush. And this is my, apart from the Skoda, this is probably my second favorite brush. This is the Silver Black Velvet. This is in size 10 and it's the round brush. That fits quite nicely in there. And when it comes to pens, I have two Lamy Safaris. One of them is filled with black ink and that is the Noodler's Bulletproof Black Ink. And this one is filled with brown ink which is the Deatramentous Document Ink. I'll have all of these products linked down below. And then tucked in this little section, I have my kneadable eraser, which is very, very handy. And yep, yeah, just keep that in this section here. So you're probably wondering my, where my paints are. And they are tucked away behind in here. So I just keep my smallest tin for my daily sketching. And as you can see, I probably need to fill some of these up. Um, but this is the Medine Travel Watercolor Palette that I've talked about before. So aside from that, I have a water bottle, which is just a water bottle, so it's not very exciting. Other few things that are important, a paper towel, so I usually just rip off a few sheets and put them in here. And then I also have some magnetic clips 
that I just clip on the back of here that just holds my sketchbook open because they're quite heavy because they're magnetic so it nicely holds my sketchbook open and no papers flying around. So yeah, there you have it. That is everything that I have been using for my daily sketch challenge. If you want to follow what I've been sketching on Instagram, I'm using hashtag sketchdiary2022 to tag my sketches and I will be doing a flip through of everything that I've done so far. Little sneak peek of one of my favorite days in January so far. So if you want to see that, then hit the subscribe button and I'll be posting that one shortly. Now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.